This is Grace again. Today I'm going to share with you the very impressive communication application of Microsoft, which is Teams, or they call it MS Teams. So this application is one of the best used for online teaching because it has a lot of features where the teachers and students can use it in real time, meaning it is a complete work environment. Question, is this application is free? Yes, it is. You can easily install it on your computer or smartphone. However, if you want to access the advanced features of this application, you can easily upgrade your subscription into premium. All right, so let me go ahead and show you now how to create and set the meeting and the other features of this application. Okay, let's start. So let me pull it up the Microsoft Teams application here. So what we are going to do is we are going to set and create the meeting. So just click the calendar on the left side of your computer. Just click it. And then we have two steps on how to set and create the meeting. The first one is Meet Now. This is if you are going to hover over your mouse, it says here start a private meeting. And the second one is the new meeting. Uh, this is how you are going to set the scheduled meeting. So let me show you first the Meet Now. Okay, so you can see yourself. Um, on the screen all right so before you join you can check your uh, camera if you want to turn it off or turn it on also the microphone okay you can check first and there's a setting limit so you can check what uh, audio devices you are going to use as well as the webcam okay. all right and also you can change the background settings so if you are going to turn it on, you can choose the background settings. Okay, so there's a lot of background settings here. Let me try to uh, choose this. Alright, so here we go. So this is one of the best features of Microsoft MS Teams. So let me click the join now. okay so here okay so here there's a lot of buttons that you can use during the meetings or during the discussion of your uh, students so this is your camera you can turn it off and on and also you can mute and unmute your uh, microphone and this button you can share something to your students if you want to use it you can share your whole desktop and also the windows whatever open windows you have here you can share it so i already have on my end the powerpoint presentation if i'm going to share this to my students just click it and then so let me go ahead and control f5 online connected presentation and just hold that five okay all right so here we go so the my students can now see my windows on my screen so during the presentation they can easily uh, catch up the lesson and yeah they can participate as well all right, so let me go ahead and close this presentation and let's go to my windows. Okay, so here, stop sharing, so you can stop sharing. So if you can see that the three buttons here or three dots, just click it for more options to see the more options. If you want to change the setting device, you can click it during the meeting. And also, there's a lot of choices here that you can change during the meeting that you can use during the meeting. And also, the show background effects, 
entering the building you can also change the background whatever background settings you want to change and turn on the live options if you are going to turn it on you can see the live options on the here we go so you can see this all right so um this is also actually same with the google meet if you try to use it so there's also a live option in it so i just want to turn it off okay and you can use the keypad during the meeting so there's a lot of features you can also start recording um your meeting you can so there's the end button here and turn off incoming video all right the other feature here is you can raise your hand so you can um you can ask your students all right students you can raise your hand if you have questions if they can raise the hand like that and then they can also lower the hand okay and also there's a chat box during the meeting you can use this you can manipulate this chat box is easily and also show the participants so in my case I only have one participant which is me and during the meeting you can invite your colleagues your friends your family or whatever your other students um during the meeting okay and also hang out so this is the hang out so it's pretty easy and very easy application to use this is very useful for all the teachers and students during the online um, teaching so let me go ahead and try to pull it up sorry let me try to um, hang up this call all right so the next one is okay the next one is how we are going to set the scheduled meeting so of course as what i've said earlier just click the new meeting the schedule to set the scheduled meeting click it and then from here you can add the title let's say try a meeting okay try meeting and then add required attendees okay i just want to add my own email address i will agree 17 gmail.com okay just add it you can add um you can add a lot of attendance i think the, the the maximum for this is 200 if i'm not mistaken 200 uh participants so in this part you can choose the uh, date set the date let's say for example tomorrow yeah and what time what time the, me the meeting start uh, 2 a.m. and then the end date and the and then the end time okay or you can also add channels so on my end I have two channels here the Despro and the SDI college and you, you can also add a location if you want and also the detail of uh, this meeting so just hi blah 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 and so on so forth okay i just want to invite you for this meeting and then if you are going to click the send so the participants will now notify your scheduled meeting okay. so let me go ahead and check the scheduled meeting if i already uh, receive the notification let me see it let me try to pull it up here Hold on. all right so I already have here so if I'm going to click it RSVP still loading all right so this is the description of the meeting and this is the 
the title of the meeting, try meeting. And then if I'm going to join the meeting, I just need to click this link, join Microsoft Teams meeting. If I'm going to click it, and then I can respond yes. Yeah, if I'm going to say yes, and then if I'm going to join the meeting again, just click the join Microsoft Teams meeting link. You can choose, uh, for example, if you don't have a um, if you don't have an application you can use the browser okay whatever browser you want. so in my case I my MS Teams is already open so I cannot use it so you can choose if you are going to use as a web or if you are going to use as an application or you can download it if you want to all right, that's it. So I hope you can learn something about the Microsoft MS Teams. So this application is very useful, especially to all teachers and students out there, and also any businesses and organizations. Okay, so again, this is Grace. Thank you for watching. I explore, learn, teach, enjoy, then share.